Hi, dear Unir. Uni Editor provides a rich set of obby features that can make your models and worlds fun and interesting. In this video, I will introduce you to the moving component. Let's get started. After entering the editor page, tap the icon on the right to open the sets panel and select the first icon in obby to add the moving component. Now, you have a moving blue cube. The moving component consists of two parts, an object and an endpoint. The object moves in a straight line toward the endpoint. If you want to adjust the endpoint of the object movement, please tap the cube representing the endpoint and place it in your desired position. I suggest you use the move and grid function on the left when adjusting the position to achieve more precise operations. I place the endpoint cube above the object and it can move upward. If you need to change the color and texture of the object, please select the object and tap the palette icon below to choose. If you want to replace the object, please select it and tap enter at the upper right corner, then delete the original object and place a new one. Next, let me introduce you to the parameter settings of the moving component. After selecting the object, tap settings on the far right below to open the parameter setting panel. Time indicates how long it takes to complete one movement in seconds. The larger the value, the slower the speed. The smaller the value, the faster the speed. Mode includes two modes. Ping pong means moving back and forth between the starting point and end point. Loop means moving from the starting point to end point in one direction. Interval time indicates how long it rests between two movements in seconds. The larger the value, the longer the rest time. The smaller the value, the shorter the rest time. When it is zero, the object will keep moving. Destination includes two modes, in United Mode, operations on objects also affect endpoints. In Separate Mode, you can operate objects and endpoints separately. This can achieve some interesting effects, such as stretching or rotating them separately. You can show a process of deformation of an object in motion. If you want to remove its move feature while keeping the object, please tap here and then tap Delete. Finally, I will show you how to use Moving Component to make a hot air balloon fly into the sky. Firstly, add the Moving Component, select Endpoint Cube and use Move and Grid function to place it above Object. Then, select Object, tap Enter, delete Initial Object, and add a hot air balloon. Tap Exit, adjust Endpoint Position of Hot Air Balloon. In Parameter Settings, set Movement Time to 15 seconds and Interval Time to 3 seconds keep other options as default settings. Finally, tap play and you can ride a hot air balloon and enjoy the scenery. That's all for the introduction of the moving component. Thank you for watching.